Tons of vegetables, perfect soup ingredients, whooped up for a worthy cause. A tasty, hearty cup of soup for the desperately poor, all in honor of the values of Nelson Mandela. Chefs in many cities around the country had their work cut out for them. They cooked in steamy kitchens for hours. In Durban, there was enough soup for 50,000 people. So today what we're doing is we're distributing both cooked soup and raw ingredients. The cooked soup is going out to the communities throughout Durban from everywhere from Umbumbulu up to Ashawi. Um, we also have groups in Ladysmith, um, Richards Bay, all over. And the raw ingredients are going out to the rural communities that already have soup kitchens that are up and running. A soup kitchen in an informal settlement in Amlazi. It was started by a group of young men. The kitchen was one of the beneficiaries. Having opened only in May during the national lockdown, the kitchen feeds up to 250 people a day. Unemployment has taken its toll on this community. We started the kitchen because we are from this area. This area has been disadvantaged for a very long time. So we know that people are suffering and they don't have money to buy some themselves food. So we had to make some kitchen so, we, so they can be able to put some food on the table. Namawishle Kamabuza cares for three grandchildren. She lost her job as a domestic worker during the lockdown. She says the soup is often their only meal for the day. This soup kitchen has made a huge difference in our lives in this place as we are not working. Even if you cook what little you have for supper, at least you had something for lunch, especially if you stay with many children. They all come with dishes to get the food after the boys have announced the dishing time. By Saturday afternoon, 77,000 litres of soup was cooked around the country. It exceeds the chef's expectations. So, let it not be said that too many cooks spoil the broth. Yugeshin Pillay, SABC News, Durban.